What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today we've got some great products from MFish. This is their 140 watt power port charger. And no, that doesn't mean that it has a 70 watt and a 70 watt charger, so it's 140 total. No, this is 140 watts on the first port. Um, of course, if you split the ports, you're gonna use less power or have less power available, but the main port is 140 watts, so you can literally charge anything. The C2 port has a 100 watt max and the C3 is a 20 watt max. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at what it looks like because I think this one is a pretty nice design and style. So it'll be fun to check this one out. All right, so already the case looks a lot <laughs> nicer with the um, plastic wrap off. This is actually a really stylish and cool case. But let's go ahead and open it up. We have our instruction manual here and let's go ahead and pull this out. So here it is, what a nice design. Very clean accents and everything on it. It is, feels like plastic on the outside with maybe some metal accents, but it does feel very sturdy and heavy. And they put the uh, power ratings right on the front there. So you can actually have 140 watts, 100 watts, 20 watts, and 22.5 watts on the USB-A down here at the bottom. Now, if you use C1 and C2, then you're getting 65 watts on each port. If you're using C1, C2, and C3, you're gonna get 65 watts, 40 watts, and 20 watts. And if you use all four, it looks like you'll get 65 watts, 45 watts, and 15 on the final two. So extremely capable um, charger here. I'm very excited to put this into use. Um, I've used quite a few of these chargers before, and uh, I haven't had any issues so far. They've all been amazing. GAN chargers are super, super fast, and uh, I'm excited to put this into use. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to MFish for sending this over, and I'll put a link to them in the description below. Hope you have a good one. Peace.